Namaste, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Vinyasa Flow class. Uh, today's, uh, this morning is joining me is Stephanie. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, the class is going to be 45 minutes to 50 minutes long. Uh, make sure before we practice, make sure you keep in mind that practice safe. Anytime you get tired or get fatigued, please come down, rest. Child pose is always there for you. So make sure you take good care of yourself. If you need a prop or you need a water, a towel, feel free to go grab them now before we get started. So with all that being said, um, so let everybody come, we'll give ourselves a moment here to sit down and relax our body. Close our eyes here. Make sure your shoulder away from your ears. And just breathe normal. Begin to settle in here with our body and our mind. Relax your body as much as possible. Allow yourself to let go of all the thought and the process. Whatever you have in mind, Put that to the side for a moment. Begin to check in with your own breath here. Make sure your length of inhales is the same length of your exhale here. Begin to observe your, what kind of energy you have this morning. Try to find the rhythm of your breath here. When you have established your rhythm of your own breath, try to carry that rhythm all throughout your practice if you can. Wherever you are, slowly bring yourself back to your mat. Allow yourself a little breath here. When you have arrived to your mat, let's take both hands up to your heart center. Bow down to yourself before we practice here. Begin setting the intention of your practice, whatever that is for you. When you're ready, slowly take the head back to center your spine. Slowly open your eyes and take a big inhale. Both arms come up, lengthening. Spies grow long. Palm meet each other up top. And exhale, slowly bring everything back down to the floor. One more round, just like that. Inhale. And exhale, let it all go. 
Good, from here, we're gonna start work on the shoulder first. Let's take both hand up to shoulder. From here, let's take both elbow toward each other and begin to make a big circle here. Two. Three. Four. One last one. Five. Good. From here, let's go opposite direction. Both elbow down to your navel. Slowly rise up. Make a big arch here. Down. And up. Two. Down. Three. And up. Two more. Four. One last one here. And five. Good. From here, let's take both hands back down to the floor. Good. From here, right hand come up first and bring it back to your shoulder blade or your trapeze here. Left arm come up slowly, bring it up and over to outside to the right elbow and slowly guide your elbow in to center your body here first. Relax your body, relax your shoulder. We're stretching out our tricep here first. Two more breath here. Good, from here we're gonna lean over to the left side while the left hand still on your elbow. Feel the space along your rib cage, your waistline here. Make sure you sit up tall, spine's long here. Two more breath here. Good, from here slowly come back to center. Left hand come off first in the shoulder height, right arm come to shoulder height, this time left hand over the behind your trapeze here, right arm come over the top, grab outside your left elbow, slightly guide your elbow into your body here. First couple breath here, just stretch out the tricep, the shoulder first. One last inhale here. Next exhale, slowly lean over to the right side this time. If you lean back slightly, take your torso back slowly forward. Make sure everything's in line. Two more breath here. And slowly come back to center. Take both arm out to show the height first. Good, let's take a big inhale here. Both arm come up, palm meet each other's top. Exhale, eagle arm here, the right over the left first. Go Kasana. Turn the palm to each other. Elbow up high first. Feel your scapula. Stretch away from center of your spine. Good, from here we're gonna low down, elbow toward your navel, lean forward, round your upper back here, take a big inhale, and exhale. Relax your shoulder, relax your body. Two more breaths in this position. Good, from here when you're ready, slowly bring your torso back up to center your spine first. And from here we're gonna turn to the left side, bring, guide your left arm into your body here. Look over your left shoulder, feel the stretches outside your right shoulder. Couple more breath here. One last inhale here. 
Next, exhale, slowly turn your torso back to neutral. Exhale, arm come apart, both palm come up. This time, cross the wrist right over the left. Turn the palm toward each other. Lengthen straight out your arm as much as you can. If you have tight shoulder, you can bring the arm a little bit more forward. You have flexibility, you can take the arm right along the side of the ear. Wherever you are, just relax and feel the connections. Observe your body here with your breath. One last inhale here. Next exhale, arm come apart here. This time, left over the right. Turn the palm to each other. Elbow up high first. When you're ready, take the elbow down to your navel. Lean forward, round your upper back here. Two more breath here. When you're ready, slowly make your way back up. Good, this time, turn to the right, guide your right arm toward into your body here. Look over the right shoulder if that's available for you. If not, just look forward. Two more breath here. When you're ready, slowly make your way back to the center. Arm come apart, inhale here. This time, left over the right, cross it over. The wrists lengthen, feel the spines growing long. Two more breath here. Good, slowly let go of the hands, arm come apart, slowly bring it down to the floor. Good, from here we're gonna move a little bit in doing the front of the shoulder here. So from here, let's take both legs out in front. So I'm gonna turn to the side. Make sure your feet hip distance apart. We're gonna do a reverse tabletop here. Both hands just right behind your sacrum here. And make sure your fingers point forward. When you're ready, lift the hip, your sacrum off the floor, press through your four corner of your feet. And make sure both knees point straight. Look up. Couple breath here first. Good, from here we're gonna get a little bit deeper stretch here. We're gonna lower our hip, our sacrum down toward the heel here. While the hands still rooting down, stretching out, arms straight. Feel the tension along the front of your shoulder girdle here. Inhale, come back up, tabletop. One more time, we're gonna lower it down. Sacrum down toward the heels here. Two more breath here. And slowly come back up to tabletop, reverse tabletop here. And this time slowly set everything back down where we started. Good, from here, we're gonna come to Malasana. So we're gonna take both legs just in the same position or a little bit wider. We're just gonna lift the hip off the floor. Root down all four corners of your legs here or your feet. Hand come to the heart center. You can shift your weight left to right. Just get that interior of your groin, your hip moving here. Good, from here, let's take the right hand down first. Left hand out in front, turn the thumbs down. Bring the back of the hand around or behind your outside your angle. From here, you're gonna turn to the right side, pivot your shoulder, look over to the right side of your shoulder. 
Lead with your left shoulder toward the floor. Two more breath here. Good. Slowly come back to center. Release the hand from your angle. Bring the left hand down. Right arm, right hands go forward, thumbs down. Bring around the back of the hand outside the right ankle. Turn your shoulder down to the right side, uh, the left side this time. Look over your left shoulder. Two more breaths here. Good, when you're ready, slowly come back to neutral. Let go of the hand from your ankle. Both hand down to the floor. From here, lean slightly forward. We're gonna stand up, halfway hard forward, lengthen. Create a flat back here. If you need to bend your legs, feel free to do so. Good, from here, we take both arm out to the side, shoulder height. Turn the thumbs down one more time. Bring both hands together, interlace the finger. Begin to straight out both arms here first, and then bend the right legs, bend the right knee. From here, we're gonna turn a torso to the left, and look up. Good, slowly come back to center. If you need to readjust your hands, feel free to do so. When you're ready, straight out the arm first, bend the left leg, straight out the right leg, turn your torso to the right, look up. Continue to breathe, feel the connections of your breath. Slowly come back to center. Let go of the hand, bring both hands down to the floor, forward fold here. Inhale, come up halfway hard forward, lean. And exhale, fold down one more time. Good, from here we're gonna make our way down to tabletop position. Work on a hip and hamstring. Make sure shoulder over your wrist, knee underneath the hip. Good, from here we're gonna take the right leg up and back first. Press the heel, try to reach the heel down to the floor. Stretch out a Achilles here, a calf first. Good, from here come back to neutral. Shoulder the wrist again. Lift the right legs up, cross it over to the left side of your body. Hug your left hip in to center your midline. Press down firmly through your top of your right foot. You can look forward or you can look over your left shoulder, whatever feel good for you this morning. Work on the outside, the right side of your hip here. Two more breaths here. Good, from here we bring the right leg back. And this time take it over outside the right side, but make sure your toes in line with your knee. The feet press down firmly, outside of your feet, root down. Walk your left hand underneath your left shoulder and take the right arm up. Open up the heart, open up the chest while the feet is rooting down. We're gonna work our interior of our legs here. The right arm go forward first. And from here, we're gonna shift our hip back down to the heel, right arm come down. Grab outside edge of your foot. If you can't grab outside, just grab your ankle, your knee, or just put it down inside your right legs. From here, 
Okay, let's take an inhale. We'll go back up. Arm open, back up. And exhale, lower back down. Inhale, go back up. And right hand come down to the floor. Good. From here, right leg, we're going to pivot. All five toes come up. Walk right hand outside your mat. Left hand follow. And then ship your hip back down to Hanuman Hanasana. Half split here. Relax your shoulder. Relax your neck here. Two more breath here. Good, from here slowly come back up, walk left hand back to the mat, right hand follow, and right leg underneath where we started. So let's take the left side, left leg back and up, press the hip back, try to get the heel down to the floor. Won't be long here, we don't stay very long. Good, from here, right leg, left leg, come back up, cross over to the right side, top the feet, press down, hug the right hip in to center your midline, look forward, or you can look over your right shoulder. Feel the stretch outside your left hip here. Good, from here slowly bring the left leg back and over to the left side, root down on the corner outside. Walk the right hand underneath the right shoulder, left arm go up when you're ready. Open up that heart, open up that chest. Left arm go forward first. We're gonna lower our hip down to the floor. Left hand come outside for your left foot. Take an inhale, rise back up where we started. And exhale, lower down one more time. Two breath here. When you're ready, slowly make your way back up. Left hand come down this time first. Underneath the left shoulder, turn all five toes up. From here, we're gonna take a hip back down to the heel and walk both hands outside the mat. Feel the stretch here. Hanuman Hanasana on the left side. One more breath here. When you're ready, slowly bring the hip back up. Both hands come back down to the mat. Bring the left leg back onto the mat here. Good, from here let's cross the legs and set your sacrum back down to the floor. So let's begin to work on our core here a little bit. Today, let's begin with Navasana. So sit up tall first, shoulder away from your ears, spine's long. When you're ready, lift both legs up. Keep it bent first today. Take both arms out to the side. When you're ready, lower yourself down, straight the legs out. Inhale, come back up. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One and one last one. Two. Good. Set your feet back down. Hug it in. Round your upper back here. Around your spine. Continue to breathe. Slowly we building up the heat here. 
We'll do one more here. From here, let's Navasana this time. Straight both legs out. Lean slightly back. Both hands come out to the side. Right side first. And switch left. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one last one, ten, and come back, set both feet down, hug it in, continue, connect yourself with your breath here. Good. From here, let's make our way to downward facing dog. Our first dog here. You can paddle your feet back and forth here. Left to right, bend the knee, shift your hip, move around, feel, do whatever feel good for you. Everybody's different. Couple breath here. Good, when you're ready, come back to neutral. From here, we're gonna shift shoulder over the wrist first, high plank, and we're gonna lower ourselves all the way down to the floor. Untuck the back toe here, come to spin, elbow underneath the shoulder here. Forearm root down, top of the feet root down. Heart go forward, stretch out your psoas. Lower back here. Get back on the mat a little bit here. From here, let's look over the right shoulder. Slowly come back to center. Let's take over to the left side. And slowly come back to center. Slowly drop your chest down to the floor. Slide both hands to low bottom rib cage. Elbow squeeze in. We're gonna move up to up dog with the knee down on the floor first. Good, from here. Shoulder over the wrist. We're gonna lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbow squeeze in, come back up. Ship it back to child pose, elbow down to the floor. From here, we're gonna glide ourselves forward to up dog, just to warm up our shoulder here. Come back, shoulder the wrist, chaturanga than does. Now, one more round. Come back up, send the hip back to child pose, elbow down to the floor, glide ourselves to up dog. Good, from here, let's tuck the toe under. Come up to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shivasana. Look in between your hands, bend your knee. Walk or float your feet to meet your hands. Rise up halfway, heart forward, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hinge from your hip, rise up. Palm, meet each other up top, inhale, and exhale. And back down to the heart center. Let's warm it up with Sarah Namaskar B today. When you're ready, hand to the heart. Take an inhale, Utkatasana. Sit it down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, downward facing dog, right legs go up right away. Virasana one, back heels down, rise up. And exhale, come back down. Chaturanga Dandasana, up dog. Downward facing dog, left legs go up. 
Step in between your hands, back heels down. Rise up, palm in the up top. Exhale, come back down. Three like a dog, vinyasa down. Downward facing dog, we meet, four breath we hold here. Look in between your hands, bend your knee. Walk your feet to meet your hands, rise up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastiti. One more round. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Downwards facing dog, right legs. Virasana one, rise up. Exhale, come back down. Three legged dog, Chaturanga Dandasana. Downwards facing dog, left legs go up. Step in between your hands, back heels down. Virasana one. Exhale, come back down. Three legged dog. Vinyasa down. Down dog we meet. Four breath we hold here. Okay, right legs go up. Right knee to left elbow, cross over to the right, come back up. This time, right knee to right elbow, cross it over, go back up. And knee to nose, round our back, slightly step it down, drop the left knee down, untuck the back toe, anjiena, rise up. From here, we're gonna tuck the back toe down first. We're gonna stand up. Exhale, hand come down. Rise up, crescent. Two breath first before we move. Exhale, slowly bring the knee back down. Arm go back up. And exhale, rise up, inhale. And exhale, load down. Arm go back up. And exhale, rise up one last time. Two breath here. Hand back to heart center. God does pose, pivot the heel. Make sure the toes slightly put, point out away. Corner of your mat here. You can shift your hip left to right, just loosen up first, relax. Make sure your tailbone tucked down. The back is straight, not round. When you're ready, come to neutral first. Inhale, both arms go up straight, both legs lengthen. Exhale, skandhasana, back leg bend, both arms open up. Extend side triangle. Next right hand inside the right leg. Left arm go forward. Udhita. From here, reverse our warrior. Good move a little bit faster now. Come back to God just one more time. Both hands to the heart first. Reset ourselves. When you're ready, inhale, both arms go up, lengthen. Exhale, skandhasana. Extend side triangle here. Reverse a warrior. Come back through the goddess. One last round here. 
Reset ourselves when you're ready. Both arms come up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower down, skandhasana. Ship it forward, extend side triangle. Reverse a warrior. This time, both hands come down to the floor. Pivot the back heel up. Left hand stay put down to the floor. Right arm go up. Low lunge twist. Right arm go forward. First, come to blade edge of your right and left foot. Lizard twist here. Right arm go back for behind. Inhale, come back up. Arm go forward, low lunge twist. Exhale, we take it back down to the lizard one more time. Slowly go back to low lunge twist. This time, Andre does a right hand, sit in front of the right foot, bend the back leg, lift up, half moon. From here, we're going to move to Pasarita Trikonasana. So, bend the front leg first, left leg come down, left hand inside, the right foot, right arm go up, straight the front leg. Two more breaths here. We go one more round here. Adra Shindasana, right arm go forward. Sit it down, bend the front leg, lift the back leg off the floor, left arm come up. Lower back down, revolve triangle. Bend the front leg. Right hand come down, pivot the back heel up. From here, crescent pose, rise up. Adrashindasana. Both hands back to the heart center. We're going to twist to the right. From here, turn your torso to the right. Hook the elbow outside. The right thigh, straight the back leg. Look over your to the side. When you're ready, open both arms up. From here, we're going to lower the back, the left knee down to the floor. Both hands will come back to the pray position. That's one. We'll go back up again. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Go back up one last time. And come back down, hand back in pray position. Turn your torso in front of the mat. Bring both hands back down. Bring the heel to your sacrum. Right arm go forward. Turn the thumbs down. Bring around. Stretch out your quad. King Arthur here. Look over your right shoulder or up. Two more breath here. When you're ready, slowly release the hand from your foot. Bring the right hand back down to the floor. Lift the left knee off the floor. Three-legged dog first. Drop both elbows down, dolphin. And slowly bring it back up. And vinyasa down, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Let's take the left legs up, left knee to right elbow first, cross over to the right, go back up to the right elbow, cross it over to the left, and back up. Knee to nose, round upper back, and step down lightly. 
and drop the right knee down onto you. Rise up. Stress those hip flexor furrows here. When you're ready, make sure the back toes tuck. We'll arm come down, swing it up, full crescent. Exhale, lower back down, knee on the floor, arm come up. Exhale, lower down, rise up. Exhale, lower down. One last time, inhale, rise up. Hand back to the heart center. Got this pose here. Make sure the toe is point, corner of your mat here. Tailbone tuck in. When you're ready, straight both leg, arm come up, lengthening. Skandasana on right side, load down. Inhale, extend side triangle here. Take your time to get there, no rush. Reverse your worry when you're ready. Come back to the goddess one more time. Reset yourself. When you're ready, inhale. Arm come up, straight the leg. Exhale, lower down, skandhasana. Extend side triangle, left hand inside, left foot, right arm, go over the top. Reverse your warrior. And come back to goddess. One last round here. When you're ready, inhale, rise up. Exhale, skandhasana. Extend side triangle here. And reverse your warrior. Windmill both hand back down to the floor. Pivot the back heel up, right hand stay down, left arm go up, low lunge twist. Left hand come down, no, nope, uh, sorry, lizard, twist lizard here. Go back up. One more time, twist lizard here. And come back up, Adra Shindasana, left hand down. Right legs go up, right arm go up, toe point out to the side of the mat. Slowly set it down for a revolve triangle, right hand come down, straight front leg, left arm go up. Padarita Trikonasana. One more Adra Shindasana, left hands down, right arm up, right legs up, toe point to the side. Back down one more time. Right hand inside, left arm up, straight the front legs. Left hand come down to the floor, bend the front knee, crescent pose, rise up. Inhale, exhale, hand back to the heart and center, twist to the left, this time elbow outside, the left thigh. Two breaths here first. And when you're ready, open both arms up. Hand come back, low right knee down to the floor. Inhale, expand the back up. Exhale, load down. One last time, expand up. 
and low it down. And turn your torso to the front of the mat. Both hands come down to the floor. Right heel to your right sacrum. Left hand forward, thumbs down. Grab inside edge of your right foot. Two more breaths here. Slow, let go the hand from your foot. Bring the left hand back down to the floor. Right knee off the floor. Three-legged dog first. Drop it down, the elbow, dolphin. And slowly come back up, vinyasa down. And downwards facing dog, we meet. Good, from here let's drop both knees down to the floor. Come to child pose here in the cool down now. Time is running out, but so. Let's move a little bit faster here. So let's take both arm out to the right side first. Stretch your lower back out. Slowly come back to center. Take it over to the left this time. One last inhale here. Slowly come back to center. And walk both hand back to your body. Good, from here let's cross the angle and sit down. We'll come to last final pose, our Shavasana. It's gonna be short Shavasana, but please feel free to take it longer at home if you need it. So let's lay down. Feet fall up to the side, palm open up to the sky. Everything relax. No more doing for this morning, for this class. Time to let it all go. Relax your face, relax your jaw, soften your tongue. Allow your eyes to go out of the focus here. home, feel free to continue to take Shavasana. For us in the studio, we have the end of session here. Wherever you are, slowly bring yourself back to your body. Allow yourself to come back, reconnecting yourself with your breath. When you have a ride, it's back to your body. Begin to move your fingers, your toe, and slowly make your way to the right side of your body. Roll over. And when you're ready, slowly push yourself up to the seating position. Like I say again, feel free to stay longer in your Shavasana, but we have to end it here. So from here, let's take both hands to our heart center. Close down our eyes one last time together. Bow down to yourself. Thank you for practicing with us this morning. Thank you for sharing your energy and your space with us. Thank you for being patient and being kind and being loved. The most important, thank you for letting us be part of your journey this morning. Have 
wonderful week ahead of you. Namaste.